Bow! Yo people, you already know who it is, it's myself, Mr. Fuck Tottenham Simples. Tonight we play Manchester United. We're at Old Trafford. Our record ain't very good there. But I'm excited for this one. Because you see Arsenal, we've turned that corner that we needed to turn. We've gone right. Man United, they've gone left. And all the Man U fans I've spoken to have actually said to me, Yo Floyd, I hope you man batter us tonight. Because we need Mourinho gone. It says it all. Man United fans are running scared. They don't want to face an inform Aubameyang. They don't want to face an inform Lacazette. They don't want to face an inform Torreira. They don't want to face an inform Socrates. Alright, man, you've got the best goalkeeper in the world. But fucking burn Leno. The way he's been playing this season, I couldn't give a fuck about City's keeper. Couldn't give a fuck about Chelsea's keeper. I couldn't give a fuck about that donut Allison. You see, Leno? He's the second best in this league behind the head. Don't come at me. Don't at me. Statistics prove me right. So go fuck yourself. Anyhow, with Man U fans, players, coaches, managers, bald, with all of them running scared of uh, tonight's game, I'm going to give uh, my predicted lineup. We we'll start with the goalkeeper. Obviously, Burn Leno. He seems to be the league's, Arsenal's league's number one. Petr Cech seems to be covering the cup games. And I'm more comfortable with Leno than Petr Cech in goal. My fucking heart does not fall out of my arse when I see Leno with the ball in the box. When I see Cech with the ball in the box, bruh, my heart drops out of my arse. Right back, whoa. Well, what formation is he going to go with? If we go for the formation that he went for against Tottenham, I don't think the back is going to change. I think we're going to have Kalas in that wing back, left. Bellerin wing back, right. Holding, Mustafi, and Socrates. And to be fair, that's a solid back five. Kalas in that bombing up and down that wing. Bellerin, one of the most improved players this season. Man can now sprint past players again. Man can cross a, box, uh, cross a ball again into the box. Bellerin is getting to that player, the, the, the player that we see in him when he first broke through. So yeah, that back five, man. Socrates holding, Mustafi, Bellerin right wing back, Kolasinac left wing back. Shaka is suspended. That's a loss. Now, a lot of us got onto Shaka last season. This season, no one can get onto him for anything. Everyone makes a mistake. And this name is Torreira, of course. But everybody makes a mistake. Uh, if it was me personally, I love Gwendozi. I love his attitude. I love the spirit that he has, the enthusiasm that he has. But a game like this, you're going to have to put Torreira in the middle. And you're going to have to play Ramsey somewhere just in front or around him. You need... The quality and experience of Ramsey over Gwendozi in a match like this. I could get proved wrong. Gwendozi could start and could have a man in a match performance alongside Torreira. But me personally, I'd go Torreira and Aaron Ramsey. That's, that's the only way really I can see it. Don't get on to me. Now... Drop me Katerium. I'll drop a Wobi. Oh. Lacquer and Abamyang, they've got to start, no matter what. They them 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 two they have to start. So oh, it's hard. It is hard, hard, hard. We've actually got players competing for positions for once and if Mersey Ozil's fit, he's got to start. He's a big game player. He's got a big price tag. Man's getting big boy wages. He has to play. If he does, it's a different question. I don't know, man. I'm going Leno, Socrates, Holding, Mustafi, Bellerin, Kolasinac. I'm going 
Aaron Ramsey, Torreya, Abamyang, Lacazette, and Mersey Ozil. That's my predicted lineup. If not, if there's no Ozil, it'll be Torreya, Gwendozi, and Ramsey in front of them, man, playing the number 10 role. Abamyang and Lacazette doing what they was doing against Tottenham, going out wide and creating the, the holes through the channel, through the middle of the defence. I remember Man United's defence is looking mad weak right now. These men are playing Matic in defence. These men are playing, uh, what? Man United D-team. Man United D-teams, yeah? Listen, I've already said it. We're going to win 3-1. We're going to have another Emery Masterclass. We're going to shut them man. You've got, no, they're already shut up. Could they scare it? They scared of how this game gonna go, man. You know how the game gonna go? Three players come back to North London, man. And your manager gonna get sacked. So if your manager sacks in the morning after we batter you, I want all you Man U fans to send a message to Arsenal saying thank you.